BK's lineup, they're going to want to be in your face uh, when it comes to fighting. They've got to get DP up in there. Earthshaker's got to come in. Uh, you know, Shadow Shaman, the shackle range isn't incredibly long, so they've all got to get up in there. That, but, uh, that stun coming out of spin, it could completely disjoint uh, any sort of team fight there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's really... It, it, it's so weird, like... I don't know if they intentionally drafted this from Root, but it is sort of a five potential core strat where you're just like, all these heroes, none of them is really a traditional support. Marana, I guess, but she's no. more of a, a like utility Marana than even a support Marana, just because the stun's not a sure thing. She's got a good amount of damage, and Moonlight Shadow um, is sort of an all-around team fight item. Yeah, they're going to have to make... Uh, I, I think at, they're really, really going to be... Look at what Flying Zebra's bringing out. Look at how he, what he wants to do in lane. He's got the Stormhammer level 1. He's got five clarities on him. Oh, five. he's looking to just put in work. But that, that's a stun that you can count on. They don't have any way to disjoint it. Uh, BK doesn't. And your boy JC, that's going to set up uh, Sacred Arrow, actually. So, uh, we'll see how that I don't think I've ever seen out. someone go to lane with five, five clarities. Five, five clarities? No, that's a first one for me. It's, I mean, it's all lane regen, uh, one smoke of deceit, and five freaking clarities. He's looking on putting, uh, he's looking on dropping the hammer on this bottom lane. Oh, dropping like five to six hammers. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but with introductions on the dire side for a team route, uh, it is going to be Flying Zebra playing Sven. It's going to be your boy JC on Marana. Lycus is going to be in the mid lane with the Tinker. Uh, Tolera is going to be running the bottom lane on the Clockwork. And Tubby the Fat, so it's actually going to be a safe lane Ember Spirit. Oh, and take a look at Root here. They, I, I think they warded this with the, um, I believe this Observer Ward was up. I don't think it would have seen them, though. I don't think they ran in deep enough. So they're going to have a clean path to the Death Prophet here. And this is how you do work on... <laughs> On a death first prophet. Blood. 40 seconds, first, first blood. blood. Well executed. <laughs> uh, you got to give a lot of props to Root on that one. Like they, that was the game plan from the beginning. No doubt about it. And if I'm, uh, if I'm death prophet, I'm a little ticked at my supports uh, with this ward. So the. This ward is usually one I would place uh, were I in the hard lane as clockwork here. It gives you vision to get in and see what's going on behind you here. You don't really need it in a tri lane. One of your supports should be roaming generally. Like, who's going to come gank you? I prefer to put that ward up here, um, or even aggressively over here, so that you do get that. I think what happened, if you look at the vision, it ends right in the river on that line, and they just walk past it. Yeah, it's right there on that line, but the thing is, uh, this one right here, you know, they got their ward out early, so they spotted out this ward immediately. You know, they saw that one go down. So then, even their pathing, I mean, they're just hanging out, looking to pick up another one, and the Prince of Noob, he can't really be aggressive here. Um, no one down here on this bottom side, they can't be aggressive. Some really, really cheeky play out of Root. They're just playing hyper-aggressive. I mean, the the risk you take is that your supports aren't going to get levels or that you're going to sacrifice one of the lanes, but right now they're just going to come sort of aggro try roam it. And the big and thing out of that, 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 I think the thing that they accomplished, though, is the fact that they have... Uh, so got Static Link up on Tolera, now the Shackles. Fisher comes out, going to be able to block him off, but Hype is going to eat one. Jordan eating the other. They're not going to be able to follow that up, however, because of that Fisher block. But, but I mean, they just hang right here in, in between two lanes, and they can have a, f a great effect on both sides. Uh, base movement speed kind of low on Sven, 295, uh, 300 on Marana. So, you know, they're not the most mo uh, mobile right off the bat, but... I, I think it's going to work. It's a five-core strat. They play hyper-aggressive, they pick up kills, and games, you know, that's GG. Yeah, and they know right where this ward is, too. If you look at it, they're bait-pathing it. 
Yeah, they're trying oh to pull something God, out of it. So dead. Pen guards is so dead. I don't know if he realizes just how dead he is. Oh, See, he's trying to move back up here into the top now. Oh it no! Is don't do it! In. Don't do it! Uh oh! Everything he's going just all at out once. out of range on this. Arrow comes in. Sacred arrow he's gonna fly. Oh, and face. it catches pen guards. Pen guards, you are so dead, dude. Oh, the hex goes off, but. Gonna follow it up with a storm hammer. Stop. No cogs Check just yet. Me. Gonna be able to secure the kill there. Taller is steadily going in. That was canned laughter. It's and the just... kill goes the way of Taller. So I mean, now there's brown boots. Early and the brown downside, boots. the downside, um, if you look at what happened there, is Taller the battery assault interval is actually Dude, shorter than almost all of Earthshaker's cast times. Um, I don't know exactly what they are, but I think it's like point nine or something, point eight. And so he can he can't actually cast if he's the only one next to Clockwork, which is what happened there. I think with the fissure he might have been able to um, turn it and get some kills. Able but... to... Yeah, I, I think they could have turned that around with a fissure, but like you said, every time it cancels that uh, mid that here, cast Prince is going to be dead here. Eats an arrow, eats a shot from Tinker, and. They're just walking around taking this. The wording has to be better coming out from uh, from Banana. The only thing with that, though, uh, how do they get over here to Ward? I mean, they would they would literally have to five man to Ward. I mean, you know, it's just these two supports roaming around. You just got to take some power. For oh, it. Shackle go goes out on Tolera. Fisher's gonna be there as well, steadily wailing away. Oh. Taller are trying to pick up the kill on Razor there. Uh, Razor, you're dead. Hype. Gonna eat a hammer to the face. And boom goes the dynamite. So now, and even with uh, with Taller dying, you know, he loses that XP. But now you've got XP back on your supports. Your quote-unquote supports. Yeah, I mean, at this point, they're both level 3. They're easily out-leveling the supports from uh, Banana. And at the same time, you're forcing so much pressure on these lanes. Look at Tinker, 32 and 5 now. Death Prophet, God, uh, Prince of Noob. Good. Uh, he's only picked up 17 last hits. Yeah, Brute look really convincing from this. It's it's a strat I haven't seen before. I like it a lot. Even finding the Tinker Ward, if you remember, uh, I think it was Sven was wandering up the river and actually saw him. And so if he's in the river like that, you sort of assume he's trying to ward the Ancients. They'll go ahead and right. stack that again, too. Doesn't actually hit. I think they blocked it with their own ward here. Or maybe it was body blocked. May have been body blocked. I don't know. I don't think that... I, I don't feel like that should catch it but uh, just in case there's any more observers observers easy for me to say right uh, flying zebra has picked up brown boots now so now you've got boots up on both your supports taller is kind of hanging out uh oh, oh pin guards you guards. are totally busted bro totally busted he's trying to bail rocket player gonna come in as well trying to get the fisher he doesn't even know which way to go with the fisher now Sven gonna pick up the kill static link in on Flying Zebra, but now the cogs go out. Battery assaults. Battery assault. Still way on the way. Good job by Hype to dodge that sacred arrow. That would have been the end of him. Oh, is he going to be able to make it away? No, they still had vision. Rocket Flare going to be able to clean that one up. Pingard's trying to come in. Where's the Fisher? Where's the Fisher? Oh, Ether Shock, actually. Ether Shock going to be enough to clean that one up. That's that trade still goes. In Meanwhile, top route. Tubby, I think, will be able to pick off Prestige here. He's gonna try and lasso him. I don't know that it's gonna be enough damage. Barely enough. Five wow. stacks of Napalm. He was trying to uh, fire Remnant in, and I think it would have killed Bat. But yeah, I think it would have killed Bat. He, he kind of knew that he was gone either way. Oh, hook shot just off the mark. Prince the noob. He's still not safe. And look good, at the farm good. now. Oh. Uh -oh. Razor finds a kill on Sven. Prince, Prince had a good play here. Uh, it's so easy when you're in that situation to try and walk back the fastest way to your base. But if he had yep. done that, Clockwork would have cut him off with the cogs. And so instead he takes the long route around. Not gonna happen. Yeah, and that's that's exactly where he's... I, that's the next level stuff. Um, that's the, you know, in my opinion, that's the difference in uh, 3k MMR and 6k MMR. 
you know? Yeah, it's what happens when you panic. I mean, do you keep your head and do the right thing, or do you... Like, I, I was playing yesterday, and there were some, you know, people come in, and we're in the jungle, and we just panic, panic Shadow Shaman wards, but then, of course, we can't defend our base with them, and it's little plays like that, I think, that make these guys really good. Just keeping your head, realizing if I go that way, I'm dead. Just take the long road. Take the scenic route. That's it. It's it's all about the pathing. It's all about positioning. That's why I think uh, heroes like Disruptor, uh, Venge, that's why they have such a huge effect. Uh, and, and, you know, they can... In a pub game, yeah, you may get a pick-off kill here and there. Um, in a pro, in this level, it's, it's a much greater impact. Uh oh, Lycus coming in. There's the Mass Serpent Wards. Jordan may go down shortly. Slide of Fist comes back. The remnants go out. Nope, he's bouncing around, marching the machines, though. Jordan is pinned in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Tinker wanted to he walk was him just, down, but. Dude, just on the edge over here. But now, Prestige Worldwide gets the lasso off. But Toby the Fat, oh, he bombed all of his fire remnants, too. Oh, oh they can't no, he gets the jump back. Oh, but the tower. He pulled that tower aggro on the leap, and that was going to be enough. And I don't think leap disjoints it, too. So he hit, he had shots that would have uh, come at him. So. Yeah. Yeah, that was still going at him one way or another. Uh, Tolera, meanwhile, picking up another kill on hype down here on the bottom lane. And they lost their Megan. courier somewhere, too. How do you find that? That I don't is... know where the courier died. I don't know where it died. I can't uh, even... There needs to be a button. Like, I should be able to click it and it should go to where it's dead. Yeah. If you're in casting mode. So, a courier died oh. somewhere. I'm going to assume it was probably bottom. Uh... Yeah, I would have to think it was bottom. Uh, they're actually grouping up down here. Rost has got smoke, so. See if they try and make something out of it. Your boy JC, level 7 now. Uh, level disparity is, is getting a bit more serious. Earthshaker is level 3. Oh, Prestige Worldwide. He could be in trouble now. Is he looking for the lasso? It's not up quite yet. Oh, Hookshot comes in. That's big. Firefly is going to be able to keep him, uh, keep him on the move. Tinker coming in now. Missile's going to fly. Moonlight Shadow. Oh, Fisher goes back the other way. That's going to save him for the moment. Good blink away there from him, too. That uh, saved him from the flare, which I think would have killed him. Right. Dire structures are fortified. Uh-oh, everybody's in trouble. Cogs go out. It's going to trap a few in. Prince of Big Fisher comes out, though. There's the hammer. Now they're going to take down... The Death Prophet, so no more Exorcism, Slide of Fist, that's going to be enough to pick up the kill on Hype. So Root has put BK on their heels. Oh, Jordan, you should not have stayed for that one, buddy. I think he was uh, damned if he did, damned if he don't. Yeah, not much to be done there. He's looking for more, but there's no one back here to TP. They actually just walked back. And if you look at the XP and gold graphs, it's just been sort of a, a downward trend. Hey, There's not really much they can do. They're getting out farmed in all the lanes. They don't feel safe because of the two roaming supports. I can't even call them supports anymore. He's going to go in here on clockwork. No, they, I mean, they're, it's it's just five cores. Oh, Tyler, you're going to go down. Does get lassoed in. Cog's not going to help him. Oh, they got to be careful here. Tubby has got to get to bailing. But now, like, is coming in. March the machines. They're looking to defend this bottom T1. A hell of a way to do it. Yeah, they needed to get some kills on Tinker while he was still managing. Oh, W has a flame guard up, but those mass serpent wards just straight up ate him. He did get the searing chains off, though. Hype is in a whole lot of trouble. If they just had some kind of way to pursue this. Oh, wow. hook shot going in. Pin guards caught out. He's once again cast animations. He just can't get them off. Man, that has got to be so frustrating. I would be spewing hate. Sacred arrow gonna fly. Not gonna connect. Oh, hype is on the run. Mike is picking up another kill. Hype actually getting that mech off. Oh, Tolera, no, Tolera, don't do it. He almost. <laughs> he was trying for the neutral deny, and then realized he was actually gonna live.
and everyone from Root Gaming low on that fight. And look at Sven Marana, Clockwork, but it's just it's that the little bit of extra gold that they've attack. accumulated now. With the bottle coming out, Tinker bottling up his teammates, always a nice little gesture. But Marana's got the boots for the extra mana, Sven's got the double gauntlets, so that's what's allowing them to survive in these fights. Someone's gonna TP in, I don't know if that's a great idea. Oh, cancels the TP. Did he cancel it or was it for stage world one? Flame guard goes up on Tobby now. Tubby now. So one falls down. They got the Moonlight Shadow. Wow, Flying Zebra being super ballsy. But he had the Moonlight Shadow. Going to stay in there. Make sure that he secures the kill. Pin Guards has just got to freaking bail now. He is level four. And I'm not sure what Hype was doing in there. He, he went in. I mean, there was the Bat Rider, but you got to count your numbers, man. It's still two on four. So even at half health, they can sort of kite you around. And that's exactly what they did there. Prince the Noob looking to bat. Oh! Hookshot. Hookshot. Just off the mark, though. Dyer's just off the mark. I mean, that would have been... All that has to do is connect. That's another kill. Root have... <coughs> excuse me. Root have definitely got this one in hand at the moment. Uh, almost, I'd say about... Uh, what do you think? About an 8k gold lead? That's what it's looking like. Yeah, uh, and then almost... And now topping 10k in XP, so... It would be one thing if it was just that. I do think they have a decent team that could come back and make something happen, but they're going to lose their top tower here as well, unless there's a die. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's another thing. If you look at Tinker's net worth, it's actually over, uh, not just about double of Batrider, who has the most uh, gold on Banana Ketchup. And that Tinker is going to, he actually already has it up, Dagon. So he's going to be able to just walk around the map and kill people now. Watch Prestige. Oh, right Sacred Arrow almost connecting. Like, they want to go on Lycus. Blink way too late. Uh, no lasso there, so Prestige Worldwide blinking in. But now the Enjoy. reversal is on the way. Rocket Flares goes out. Oh, they got him spotted. Bookshot, who to connect with? Uh oh, Steering Chains, Pin Guard. Oh. And a whole lot of trouble. Stormhammer comes out. That's going to be enough to pick up a kill. Toby the Fat trying to bail. Oh, don't know if he's going to make it away. Nope, not going to be enough. Ether Shot going to be able to pick up that one. Like is going to blink out. Tolerable with the cogs. I mean, how do you fight into that? You can't. Oh, my God. Look at these wow. combo chain stuns. It just looks so combo good. I don't stuns. even know if they were trying to do that, but they held him in place for the arrow perfectly. Sven, a little bit of a misplay there from Banana Ketchup, eating uh, the Sven stun with two heroes instead of just the one it was cast on. Mm. Uh oh, and see, and then Tinker just jumps back in with the Dagon and is like, uh, get wrecked full. Look at them, they're like speed farming those Serpent Wards just to get the gold before the t uh, time. Yeah, they, ran got out. Them, they got them right on time, too. Not a second to spare on those. Exorcism comes out. Oh, I don't know that they want to fight into that. Oh, yeah, they are. Flying Zebra said, I ain't never scared. Now Moonlight Shadow, that's going to give him some options. Shackle out on Tolerant, but then the Fire Remnants. Zebra got to be on the run. That Moonlight Shadow, that's going to keep him in the mix again. Lycus is like, okay, cool story, bro. Uh, uh, Lycus is going to fight him, I think. He can just rearm Dagon. And then they catch, they catch Jordan off the backside. He's just kiting him. Yeah, they're gonna tap. Lycus out. just, yeah, Lycus was just kiting them along. Man, that five core strat. Dyer. I mean, I know it's hard so, at that point in the game. Someone's got to have dust when you have Marana on the other team. But man, did Root look really good that game. It was just the leaning was good. Their rotations were perfect. It was really, really crisp. Um, they look great. And it was rotation after rotation. It's not like you know, three minutes rotate mid. You know, try and get a pick off. 